Uh, I'd like to say there was no patient on earth as wonderful as G.I. Joe, the American soldier, because he never complained. He could lie in bed racked with pain if he's, and never ask for medication if he saw that we were busy elsewhere in the tent. And then when we got to his bedside, he'd always say, take care of my buddy in the next bed first. Yeah. And he was grateful for the slightest thing we did for him. He thanked us profusely. And he'd oftentimes grab our hands and kiss them. And uh, he was grateful to be in an American hospital in a bed with a mattress and sheets, items that sometimes he hadn't seen in over a year. And um, he uh, sometimes I'd come on duty um, in the morning to find a patient curled up foxhole style on the cement floor under his bed. And uh, G.I. Joe was grateful just for us being there, American women he hadn't seen or spoken yeah. to sometimes in two or three years. And G.I. Joe was uh, generous and forgiving to the crowds. When uh, the POWs would enter the tent to refill a coal bucket or perform some task, um, he would uh, motion for them to come to his bedside and hold out his pack of cigarettes and indicate that they should help themselves. And as they did so, he'd pull out from under his pillow his precious packet of family photographs and hold them out for the crowd to admire. And he'd say, my mother, my wife, my son, my daughter. And then the crowd would do the same thing. After he returned uh, the, the photographs to the GI, he'd pull out his own photographs and show them to GI Joe to admire. Here they were, just two human beings, hungry for family and home. Uh, caring for the American soldier was truly a privilege, and it was one of the greatest experiences of my lifetime.